Hey guys, it's Nicole in Nesting Haven. Today I have a yard sale haul for you. So the first sale I went to was a moving sale and I picked up this really cool bench for $5. It was funny, um, when we were leaving, I actually had this in the back of the truck and the lady that was at the yard sale as well was walking out and she's like, did you get this at this yard sale? To my husband, he didn't know how much I paid for it. She's like, how much was that? It's a good thing she got it because I would have took that. So that was kind of funny. Um, I was actually nursing my son in the car in the truck so I couldn't go out and tell her so I might have been able to sell it to her right there on the spot at the yard sale had I uh, been outside but anyways this will be going in my booth and I kind of needed something in my booth to give some height to some things I want to sell like that trunk that I just hauled uh, last week so I'm gonna put this in the booth with a trunk on it and kind of just stack some stuff up to give it some height in the booth and hopefully I can make 20 to $25 on this. Um, maybe even up to 40, we'll see, I guess. Also at that moving sale, I picked up this really nice shelf for only $2. Has some really nice painting detail here. So I'm going to resell this in my booth for probably around $20. Um, very good profit. I'm happy with that, it's in great condition. So they had a bunch of Christmas items in various bags and baskets for they were trying to sell them as a lot for a dollar a piece and initially I just found these in a bag and I was trying to just buy these individually um, well separate from that bag and for whatever reason she didn't want to give me a price for just those she's like well why don't you we um see what else you'd like from the other bags and we'll make like a group for a dollar i'm like okay i guess so i did find these little santas i thought were kind of cute so there's two of those in there and then i'm not even sure what these are i actually think she just put these in there um because they were already in this basket here um they're kind of cute i guess i don't mind those <laughs> they're they're like a ceramic that's kind of interesting so I got those, you know, kind of thrown in the lot because she's like, and we'll put it in this, you know, you can have the basket with it. And I actually really like the basket, so I thought for a dollar, you know, I would pay a dollar just for the basket. But I got all of that for a dollar, so I thought that was a great deal. We've been finding such great deals on kid movies at yard sales. I've been absolutely loving that. This movie here was a dollar, and we actually watched this movie in theater me and my husband when we first started dating so this actually came out in 2006 um we have what's called like the cheap seats and we used to go there on tuesdays when we started dating and you know just was in the cycle of movies we hadn't seen yet so we watched it and it's actually a really funny movie i enjoyed that one quite a bit and i'm excited to have my son watch this i also picked up this frog dish sponge holder i thought it was super cute um, it seems like people don't really do this anymore, but I know my grandmother and my mom even had something similar to this growing up, so it was kind of more of a 60s to 80s things probably, but I think, you know, it'll be pretty cute in the booth and someone will love this for sure, and I'll probably sell it for around 8 to 10. Okay, so this is a pretty neat find. We got a, an Atari system. Um, it's the original one. It's the... 26,000 I believe that's the original one and it came with all kinds of the paddles and stuff like these I I do remember this from my childhood a little bit my parents had one it has the joystick and um, a little converter thing I'm not sure <laughs> I was really little and um, like three or four when my parents still had it but this is from which is around the late 70s, I think, early 80s. And anyways, I got the machine, the, what is it called, game system, the all the like paddles and joysticks and stuff, and then this case with all these games in it for $8. I thought that was a great deal, and I think we stand to make a decent profit off of this, but I think we are going to set it up and play with it for just a little bit, just for a little nostalgia, just to have a little bit of fun. Um, I'm not sure what are these video game catalog. Oh, that's kind of cool. Is it like what games were available? Oh, 
Oh, well, this is kind of interesting, too. So, it's a bunch of Atari. Uh, must be, like, what came with the games. All right, that makes sense. Like, you would have in, like, a um, CD case or something these days. But anyways, Pac-Man. That one's getting played for sure. Asteroids. A lot of these I don't remember. So, um, I think I played pinball before on it and maybe combat, but... These will be fun to check out anyways. I hope it works. But, you know, for $8, I figured it was worth a shot anyways. And, um, you know, maybe someone would even want it if it didn't work and they could fix it up or whatever. But um, these go for decent money. The game systems for somewhere between 80 and 150 I think my husband said. He looked it up. I can't quite remember. But, yeah, for 8 bucks, I think it's definitely a good deal. So baskets sell really well in my booth, so I'm always looking for those, and I thought this one was really nice. Um, I don't really see any like this around too often. I love the detailing on it. It kind of has that curling around the loops there on the edging, and it has the double handle, which is kind of interesting. You usually only see the one handle, so I thought that was really cute. I got that for 50 cents picked up some Tupperware pieces. I wanted to see how these did in my booth reselling. I know there's a lot of people in that 50, 60 age group that love Tupperware. So I was gonna, you know, go ahead and pick these up. They were only 10 cents a piece. I really love this green one here. Um, got this one here, just kind of like a regular storage container. This one's kind of neat. I'm not quite sure. It's some kind of grater. Um, so probably for carrots and cheese or something. I'm not sure <laughs> how plastic graters work. It's interesting to me. But it has like the little catch dish in it. And it's that really nice jadeite green color. And um, I guess you can take the lid off here, uh, this piece off, and then just put the lid on it to use the dish as well. I have to look that one up because I'm not quite sure how that whole system works. But that's my best guess. And I'm also curious how much these would even go for. I've never seen one of those before. And then I picked up these two cups. I was just going to use it for myself, for my kids. They're 10 cents for the two of them. The lady saw me looking at them. She's like, oh, do you want cups for your kids? Because my kids were, and my husband were with me. And they're looking around. And she gave me these. She said they were Tupperware. I don't see any Tupperware markings. Um, so I'm assuming they're not Tupperware. But, I mean, they could be. They're pretty heavy duty I didn't really want them, but um, she's like, we can give you these for 10 cents too. I'm like, okay, sure. So I got a little upsailed there, <laughs> but um, I might just resell those um, in the booth there, a yard sale or something, because I don't need a bazillion cups, but um, they're a pretty cute size. So I don't know. I might hang on to them and see uh, how Riker does with them for a little bit and maybe skip the whole sippy cup business <laughs> so they have this really nice letter and bill holder here with the key um what do you call them key hooks on the bottom they kind of rigged up a uh, little hook on there but that's all right maybe i could just swap these out to match that or something um i don't know <laughs> but i actually have an, one that's old like this that might have the same kind of hook i can just switch on to that because it's not that serious. It's one that I use. Um, that used to be my parents. So anyways, I thought this one was really nice condition. It was only a dollar. And I'm going to go ahead and resell this one in the booth. And I picked up this for my boys. It's a little play school shape sorter. It's only 50 cents. They have one that's like kind of in a bucket. But I like that these have like the shapes all around the sides. And on the bottom and stuff. So it gives them a few more options of places to... Uh, put the shapes. I thought that was a nice little piece. I think this one's not particularly old, um, like late 90s, I believe. So, um, you know, still a good 10 years or so. Is that late 90s? Yeah. No, that's almost 20 years. Wow. <laughs> yes. Yeah, so I guess this is quite old since it's almost 20 years old. So late 90s, I guess that is 20 years now, isn't it? Hard to believe. <laughs> I collect these 1970s era vintage trivets here, so I was happy to come across this one. I surprisingly don't come across the same ones so far. I have about 10 of them, so I always pick these up in yard sales as well, and I actually um, use it as wall decor in along with my basket wall. So the last thing I 
bought at that sale, I say bought because I got a bunch of stuff for free, I'll show you in a second, um, was this really nice container here. It is wooden, it um, is in wonderful shape. I do like it, I'm not sure what I personally would use it for, so I am gonna go ahead and put that in the antique booth. Any kind of country stuff like that does really well in the antique booth, so that cost me $2, and I'm sure I can sell it for at least 20, maybe 30, 35, so excellent profit on that as well. I absolutely love this yard sale. The prices were right. They had tons of stuff. We were there for probably close to 30 to 45 minutes, which is long for me because I try to get in and out of yard sales quickly so I can move on to the next one, but this one was definitely one that was worth sticking around for. I thought they had great deals, so I'll show you the free stuff I got there. Okay, so this is all the stuff that I got for free at that yard sale. They had a just a large box with all this stuff in it and it was so complicated because it was, as you can see, a lot of glassware and I was so afraid I was going to break the stuff I didn't want and um, I like kind of had to unload that box completely just to kind of you know ponder through it and then put it back in uh, so I didn't break anything. So that ate up a little bit of time there, but I'll go ahead and show you what I got. Oh, I also got like a little, you know, those kind of reusable uh, backpacks. They had one of those in there and that's what I actually put all this stuff into. Um, uh, yeah, <laughs> I don't really think you guys need to see it. You guys probably should uh, know what those look like. But anyways, this actually wasn't in that box. It was on uh, under the table, but I was looking at it and there was no price. And she's like, oh, if you make tea, you can just go ahead and take that. That's a freebie. I'm like, okay, awesome. So um, I'm not really sure. I didn't have a chance to look up anything on this. If it's particularly old or anything, there's no other markings that I can see. But um, I definitely would say it's at least 90s, but um, I'll have to look into that. But I really like the green color and I do love tea, so I'm going to try to make some sun tea in this and uh, see how that goes. These were in the free box, some Tupperware measuring cups in that really nice avocado kind of green there. So I thought that was a great find for free for sure. And then I picked up this little goose tin here it is potpourri press made in the usa so pretty vintage um probably looks about like the 70s maybe even 60s has like the cherries on it so not sure i'll have to look up that as well but um yeah say 60s or 70s 70s maybe um all this stuff well i guess i'm keeping this but um all this stuff is probably going in my booth this is kind of funny here this tin if you guys have been following me for a while, you saw me haul this tin before. So this was actually at the very bottom of that box and I saw it and I knew what it was. So that's why I had to take all that glassware out, honestly. I was like, I'm gonna break all this stuff, but I didn't break anything, surprisingly, even though my nickname's Buster because I do break things. I'm pretty klutzy, but the one I hauled actually didn't have the sticker. It says made in Hong Kong, so that was, a nice find because I wasn't sure of the age of it. I figured, um, you know, it looks sort of vintage, but it, I thought it might be one of those things that was just made to look vintage. But with the Hong Kong sticker, it's definitely older than um, I thought previously. So I actually have one of these that I kept for myself and I might go ahead and keep this one too. These are actually pretty handy to have on hand for if you do yard sales or, um, antique boost or something they're great for if you want to like sell purses you can just put these on it and put it on a rod um, you can do it with baseball caps you know put them through the back hoop and stuff you can hang scarves off them great to have on hand um, you can pick these up at the dollar store for you know a dollar but it was free so I went ahead and grabbed those and then this is just like a little glass sundae dish I thought was you know kind of nice for free, you know, you can't beat that price. So I'll go ahead and try to resell that in my booth. I got one of these candle thingamajiggies here. <laughs> um, yeah. So put that in the booth. Um, it's always nice to have smalls in the booth that um, can help pay your booth rent. So um, probably, you know, pr since I got this stuff for free, I can price it lower than I would have, you know, normally if I had paid for it and um, really help that booth rent. And then this, I assume, 
it's a candle holder. It seems like the candles get all the cool things to, you know, represent them <laughs> all the time. But, um, you know, if you guys know differently what it is, I would appreciate it. But it has that really cool wooden handle on it. I assume, you know, to carry the candle <laughs> somewhat safely around, you know. It's not quite a lantern. I don't know how safe it would be in this, but anyways, I assume that's what it is. I thought it was a cool piece anyway, so I grabbed that for free. And then I thought this was pretty cool here. Um, the seal on it worked quite nicely, and I'm sure I can make five bucks or so off that. I picked up these Superman Zack cups for just to have for my sons um, free. The straws are in good condition, which my kids eat through them, so, well, I should say my kids, Riker's not on it yet, but my now three-year-old, <laughs> he just turned three, does eat through the straws pretty badly, so, um, just a second, guys, I gotta go check on my kiddo. Right. My husband was upstairs with him, but I just wanted to go check and, uh, make sure he was okay, he's trying to get down for a nap, and, um, so, these I picked up, I thought, um, People like to make those terrariums in it, you know, the little rocks and you put like succulents in it and stuff. So I thought that would be nice for that. Um, I don't really have time or patience to do that myself, but I'll definitely put those in the booth. And I'm sure someone that wants to do that would be super stoked to find these. I got a couple of milk glass pieces in there just because they're free. I thought this one was kind of interesting. I don't know that I've come across this piece before. Um, I don't see any markings. Well, it might be, I can't quite make out what that is through the camera. D, I think it's just the number eight. I don't know what that means <laughs> for milk glass, but um, this one's kind of dirty. I'll have to wash it up, but just a basic base. That you find those everywhere, but it was free. I'll go ahead and add it to my milk glass collection in the booth that I'm trying to sell right now. I picked up some of this earthware. Um, measuring cups here. I've never actually seen the measuring cups, so these are in great condition. There, um, you know, there's only two of them, but go ahead and put those in the booth. There was a salt and pepper shaker. One's missing the bottom plug to it, but that one is, but I don't know. They were free. That one is three and that one is five. It's a bit ambitious. <laughs> I usually only see like two and three, so I don't know. Maybe it's for Parmesan cheese or something. I don't know. <laughs> And then I thought this one was really pretty with the butterflies on it. Here, the earthenware from top stoneware piece. So those are always cute for like a little, you know, vase or something. And then the last thing I grabbed for free was this bag of jewelry. It has a lot of retro earrings. I'd say probably around the 80s. They kind of look like those 80s colors. Something I wanted to try in my booth was to sell jewelry. I know a couple people that are YouTubers that sell jewelry. Um, Tanya at Thrifty Treasures and uh, who else does it? Do, do, do. I'll try to link them below, I can't think right now. But um, I wanted to give it a try. I figured for free if people steal them or whatever, it's not really that serious. I mean, it's serious business for them because you know, they have to live with that. <laughs> but you know, no cost to me so I'm gonna, try to set that up somehow and uh, sell them in my booth just to kind of see how jewelry goes in, you know, my particular antique mall. So that is going to do it for this video. I, I did go to other yard sales, but I think this is getting quite long. So I'm just going to do it in another haul video <laughs> right after this. And um, yeah, so that was a pretty great yard sale I went to. I was happy with that one. It's probably my favorite yard sale of the season so far just because the deals were so great and um, I got all this free stuff. <laughs> and thanks so much for watching, guys. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe, and we will catch you next time.